constants. Const int x pin equals 2. Input for x axis. Constant y pin equals 3. Input for y axis. Constant time equals 5. Time step. Begin serial communications. Void setup serial.begin 9600. Main. Void loop. Int x values 101, int y values 101, int counter. I'm trying to remember int pause x, where I am, int pause y, why I'm here, int vel x, more importantly, where am I going, int vel y, where have I been? Int T, I, I, I know nothing and yet it feels like I'm running out of time. Int pulse X, pulse Y, and things are moving and I can't control them. Int acceleration X, acceleration Y. The calculations below convert pulse width into acceleration. Find the product of counter times 100 stored in variable T time. Calculates X and Y position and adds them to X values and Y values arrays in that order. Acceleration x equals pause x divided by 10 minus 500 times 8. Cold numbers. Acceleration y equals pulse y, back, 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 pause y divided by 10 minus 500 times 8. Yet people are colder. T equals counter times 100. We need more time to solve our problems. Vel x equals pause x divided by 10 minus acceleration times t but we're moving so fast that we can't stop. Pause y equals pause y minus vel x times t, and we can't remember where we've been. Vel y equals pause y minus acceleration times t, and we can't figure out where we're going. Pause y equals vel y minus acceleration times t. We're isolating ourselves but x values 101 counter equals pause x. Problems aren't solved with numbers. y values counter equals pause y. They're solved with people. And all the while, we're running out of time. While counter equals equals 100, serial.print acceleration x, serial.print acceleration y, del delay 100, counter plus plus. Hardware instructions. Connect red wire from hardware to board through pin three. Connect blue wire from board to hardware through pin four. Connect black, connect black to ground on both. Open document. Left click run, record output. Get up. Breathe. I've forgotten how to breathe, haven't I? My little sister came home from school the other day crying because she got in trouble during class. When joking around with some of her classmates, she, she told, told a black boy he looks like a monkey. She's seven years old. My whole family is white. If a slave is hung from a tree and no one is there to document the history, will the truth be written? Will his obituary be printed in facts or would a bunch of middle school textbooks be published? The issue was taken care of and she knows now why she can't say things like that, but I saw my parents' heart sink. Will the ink coated in lies be shoved down the throats of their GPAs? The school she goes to is comprised almost entirely of white kids. Will you call it the truth? White teachers, white counselors. Will you call out the blasphemy by its name? White lunch cooks, white nurses. Or will you read them one chapter, once a year, every other semester? My parents are accepting in ways I can never thank them enough for. They've grown an environment in our home that left discussion open, that let me and my siblings know we'd be loved and supported no matter what, that taught us to form our own opinions and make our own beliefs and hold true to them. But, but there, I think, might be the problem. 
If a boy who commits no crime wants to stop for snacks, will he make it home safe? Will he have Skittles in Arizona for dinner, or will the state of Florida find no conviction in his murder? I was present for the conversation when my mother sat my sister down and explained what exactly the word racism, racism meant, what was wrong with what she had said, why it was inappropriate. But, but I, I can't, can't remember, remember a time when we went out of our way, way to make her believe that prior to that day. Will the uprisings disturb you? Will you use your white privilege to justify the injustice? Will you pretend it didn't happen? While we weren't making an effort to tell her, she was at her white school, surrounded by kids she noticed all looked like her, blonde and blue-eyed, some regurgitating the words of their parents as the election flew by. Will you stand on the sidelines of the racists? Will you use the cheers of the crowd as motivation to keep doing the wrong you know is wrong? Which side of the lunch counter are you on? Are you even aware there is a counter? My family wanted to leave her alone to let her form her own opinions. We didn't realize that people had already formed them for her. If a monument to civil rights is built within walking distance of the new downtown, will you kick out those who are still fighting for their zip codes? Who keeps their home? Where will they go? I wonder if things would have been different if we'd been louder. If, if we'd, we'd only peeled, peeled our tongues from the roof of our guilty mouths and forced our lips to work. work. If we didn't bury our heads halfway in the sand close enough to hear the noise, but, but far, far enough down to pretend we aren't the problem. problem. If we weren't so scared of what we could say wrong that we chose, chose to, to say, say nothing at all. There's no way to fix a problem with a wrench whose jaw you want to adjust for fear of its teeth. There's, There's no, no way to teach a child through silence. silence. Stepfathers, let me see your resume. What's your background look like? What kind of household did you come from? Was your father present? Are now you present in your kids' lives? Do you know how to wash the dishes? Do you have a favorite toe? Do you eat chicken with a fork? How are you with communication? What's, What's your, your husband experience? experience? How did you, you treat her? her? What's a square root of 59? Wrong. And if Mr. Pickles don't let you pet her, you're dangerous. That's a lie, because she hates everybody. But, but that, that don't, don't matter, matter, because no matter how much you, you want, want this job, job you're not my daddy. daddy. You're the step daddy. You're a step stool. You're a pull out couch. You only gonna be here for two weeks and in a pair of red bottoms. bottoms. And after three years, and, and he's, he's still here, here I'm starting to think this is real. My mama don't laugh the same way no more, probably because this joke stopped being funny. He made balloons out of my mother's eyelids. He gave me a little sister, which gave him 18 more years to stay. My mother has never had a tan line on her left ring finger, but three sets of divorce papers, two abused daughters, and one marriage certificate with a broken frame. I'm, I'm an, an expert, expert with stepfathers, stepfathers with, with over five years of experience and emotional scars to document it. My resume has plenty of bullet points for the holes he left in my mother, for the invisible bruises he left on her daughters. Because, because you, you can't, can't report marks that are already faded. The first question I should have asked you is how you deal with your anger. If you would make me medicate myself, I swallow teeth as pills. You filled an entire doorway with just your disgust. Black gums and yellow nubs, I was your gum. And you chewed me out with spit, flying out your mouth to splash on my face. The same one you slobber on my mother with. Your rage was a water hose. And you doused me down. I was fire. I refuse to give up my flame. I will burn you down to the ground before I ever let you kick me out of my own house. When I told him, Boy, if you don't get out of here with that fake gold chain, I got a whooping. Talk, Talk back, back and it'll give you something to cry about. Cry out and it'll, and it'll give you something to lie about. His fists were falling stars. And I prayed to them every night to be kind. I counted the clenched up fingers it took to straighten my spine. The aftermath plastered all over my wrists. That's why I need resumes. I need to know where your scars come from. Where the corner of your mouth goes when mine opens too loud in your face. How you treat your own children. If you pick them apart like chicken bones. What happens when you stub your favorite toe. If you would take anger from around your waist and use it as a lesson in respect. 
how you speak to me when you know I have a lot more to say and be afraid of. I know you want this job. I know my mother is the perfect landlord when the payment is companionship. But my family be the shattered glass around the dumpster. Broken steps be me and my sister. No doors on my mother. And are you willing to stay and help us clean it up and not get angry because we are damaged, but love us even if we don't love you? Because you still just the stepdaddy.